Good morning from Azua. Today is Friday the 11th of October and it is day 39 of walking and day 44 on the trail. It's just started to rain. I was hoping it wouldn't but it is. So in a second I'm going to zip up my light coat and put up my brolly and hope that it doesn't last for too long. So this is it, the second to last day. I can't believe I'm still walking and hopefully I will still be walking at the end of the day. Here's the trail on the way out of our zoo. In my good morning video, I didn't tell you that today I am walking 23 kilometers to Amanal. It's just a little further than the usual stage. And I did that because I wanted to have just a 15, 16 kilometer day on my last day. And because I wanted to stay in a small town, not a busy place. So Amanal is just a just a tiny village and I'm really looking forward to being in a lovely tiny Spanish village on my second to last night or my last night on the trail. So quarter past nine I got away uh, at my usual pace. I'll probably be eight hours on the road today just a little less so I hope to be in at five four kilometers walked and that's the 35 kilometer marker. I'm going to be looking at the 35, the 30, the 25 as I count down today. Wow, look at this crazy sticker thing happening. Um, I get this crazy sticker thing, look. This side not so many, but here they're endless. Half eleven, eight days, and time for a wee break. Apple tart, way more to my liking. Thirty kilometres to Santiago. Nine and a half kilometres done today. Buen Camino. I just had to photograph these perfect autumn hydrangeas because they really just are exquisite. Oh no, go, go, go. I'm just one Camino. And what's the name of this town? Totally obscured, well, from a reading point of view, by stickers. Just a wee bit of road walking. I'm still walking past Plantation Eucalyptus. Can you see the straight lines they planted in? Cool, eh? I've done 14 today and this says 
25 kilometers to go. Look at this happy place with pilgrims enjoying glasses of wine, beers, they're having a lovely time. I've seen a number of storm casualties today. This is the best one. I stopped and sat here on a concrete bench and had a little snack and a drink. And the temperature has dropped like a stone. I think there must be rain coming. There was a reason for that sudden cold snap. The rain is coming down. Cool sound, eh? The rain on the umbrella. Oh heavens, there's a decision. I've got no clue which way I should be going. No clue. Okay, I'm going to opt for straight ahead, not under the motorway. Maybe it's just a way to stop you crossing a busy road. This is the phenomena called walk down the hill backwards because it's hurting my knees and risk killing myself. Well, it's tipping down now. You can see it looks really set in. Now I've probably got about another five kilometres to go, I think. We've had some thunder and lightning, so yeah. Pretty, uh, not great end to the penultimate day. Because there's been so much rain over the last few days, the little rivers on the road have started to develop super quickly because the ground obviously just cannot absorb any more rain. I just clocked 19 kilometres for the day and the sign says 20 kilometres to Santiago. There's not many people behind me but look, this clever person has got a brolly like me. Very sensible. This is the town of O Petruso. I walked 20 kilometres. Unfortunately, this is not my resting place for the night. It's the usual end of stage. But I was unable to be accommodated here, even looking back many, many months ago. So I am walking another three kilometres on to a tiny, tiny, tiny little village called Armanel. So three kilometres to go with me. This is the late crowd heading to Amanau. The stragglers of the day. Well, I've already walked my half marathon today. So I'm just digging deep for those last three kilometers. And it is beautiful. The rain has stopped. And we are walking through a lovely woodland. This looks like Amanau. Look at this lovely place coming up. I think it might have the name of my resting place on it, which is called 15 kilometers. Look at the lovely flowers. I wonder if this is it. Hope it is. Okay, last night and I've arrived in my first ghost hotel. There was nobody here. Uh, they sent me an email saying press a number to get in the door, press another number to get into my room which is here, but there's not a living soul here. 
This property is supposed to have a restaurant, it's all set up, there's chairs outside, but there is nothing happening. But that's okay, I delved into the bottom of my bottomless pack and retrieved a huge bag of fabulous mixed nuts, some orange flavoured chocolate and some cereal bars and I've enjoyed that little feast for my dinner, well not all of it, and I'm going to have an early night so that I'm in top form for tomorrow. As a footnote, I'm the red dot and look how close I am.